somebody wants to speak again, he'll be able to speak again. So, but ideas we've heard. Well, first of all, I think we're doing more than just calling for a minimum wage. We are calling for change with regard to the minimum wage. But as I pointed out at the meeting, we also see an awful lot of the other things that we're talking about as also feeding into that. So for example, having programs like a public child care system under government, which uh, enables people to work, number one, which uh, you know it, it really brings workers into the economy, which brings child care into the realm of our educational system, is a key part of everything that we're talking about. So while tonight was focusing on one particular policy, we don't see that policy in isolation. That's number one. Number two, I do think that there are a lot of other things that need to be looked at. This is why it's important to have the labor movement involved in this discussion, because we have to look at the fact that uh, we have, for example, the highest population, the highest percentage of people unionized in our working population than anywhere else in Canada. And policies inside of the labor movement are also very important when we're talking about the minimum wage as well. So there has to be an ongoing discussion exploring all kinds of different uh, avenues. Uh, I do believe, though, uh, that we have to make sure that work is recognized, that it's valued. And I think that we made that point in Nigeria. Rogers made that point on our behalf. And I think it's a really important point because while some of these other things do help people who are living in poverty, so when we're talking about living wage, for example, and uh, the other one you mentioned, which I also know about, I can't call it by name. Uh, the guaranteed the gar minimum yeah, The guaranteed minimum in income. Uh, while there, they are ways of dealing with the issue of poverty, uh, my uh, thing is that we should be valuing work. And those who are the people who hire should recognize they have to value the work of the people that they are hiring. I think that point was made by some people on the floor tonight, which is really important. Uh, and that's part of our policies as the NDP, that people who are making money off the backs of workers they have to understand they have a responsibility to value the work of the workers. And I think that's a much deeper discussion, and that's something that's at the heart of who we are as the NDP. Okay, one more thing then. Um, it, may, it might have been briefly alluded to tonight, but the idea of corporate, our corporate tax rates, as far as I know, we still, I think, have the lowest corporate tax rates in Canada, in Newfoundland and Labrador. Billions of dollars going out every year in uh, resource profits. Um, how, how might that fit into sort of the bigger picture? We're talking about minimum wage workers earning the, the lowest amount on the scale and then uh, corp and billions going out of the province in corporate profits every year. How, how, how might corporate tax rates factor into this? Well, we're still in the process, of course, of preparing for our, the next general election, preparing our platform. But I can tell you that as NDP, looking at corporate taxation is a very important issue to us. And uh, I don't think we can have the discussions that I'm talking about without looking at corporate taxation. And you're right. Right now, we have the lowest in Canada, and that's a disgrace, I believe. Can you give any indication of what the NDP might might be calling for in terms of raising corporate taxes? Or uh, Justin, I think you're going to have to wait until our platform comes <laughs> Okay, out. Okay, right. great. Okay.